Hey YouTube, how's it going? Normally I would definitely be wearing a hat um, while filming, but I decided that the hairdo was a um, good excuse to not wear a hat today. So I decided to tell you all about one of my latest obsessions. Origami cranes! Oh my gosh! I've always wanted to be able to fold up um, origami uh, crane. I never really was able to get it down. I might have made one in like grade school or whatever when they were teaching you origami. But I can never get all the folds down. There's a lot of different steps, and I guess I'm just not that great with paper. And finally, reading three guides and watching a video tutorial, I was able to figure out the pattern. Now I can hear you. How do I get to make one of these amazing paper cranes? Well, that's the whole point of my vlog. I'm going to show you how to make a origami crane. First off, of course, you need a plain, flat space. I guess it doesn't have to be plain, but this is my workspace. And you need a square of paper. Um, mine is ripped off of a full-size piece of paper. It needs to be a perfect square, though. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper in half. Boy, difficult so far, huh? Make sure you get a good crease. It's always good to have a good crease. And then you open it back up and you fold it so the crease is um, the same way. Um, I mean, you fold it the other way, but so the creases both go inward like that. Now I'd like to um, request that you not mind the camera if it's a little off because I'm trying to uh, balance it on top of boxes so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I hope the light's good. Anyway, now you're going to fold it sideways like, ooh, if I can get the paper to go, like so. And again, sharp creases are always good times. They're your good friends. And the other way. And these creases should be facing the other way um, of the horizontal and vertical. And I will show you what I mean once I get them tight. Basically that means the, um, the horizontal and vertical, they fold the same way. And then the uh, lengthwise ones fold the same way. Kind of like that. Let's see? I hope that makes sense. Alright. Next up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to push in the center and bring all of the corners together. That looks really easy. It took me forever to figure this out, so I'm going to do it again. You get your flat piece of paper. You push in the center um, so it's popped up. Um, as you can see, the horizontal and vertical lines are popped up while the diagonal lines are popped down. And then you just kind of push them all together and you get a square. Amazing. Make sure you've got good creases because good creases are... They're good. They're amazing. Okay, and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to, I keep saying basically, you're going to fold in little triangles. Um, see how that is? It, that then this is the end that opens, not the end that does not open. So you do that on both sides. This might take a minute. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be pointy if you can help it. Mine are never very pointy, see how that isn't, but that's okay. It won't be that bad. And you do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to have four of these triangular type sides. Make sure, of course, good creases. Good creases are amazing. Um, and there. So you've got, it looks kind of like a kite or a diamond, however you want to call it. Good points. Take this top area and fold it over. And I just realized that it would probably be better for you, the viewer, to see this as a big piece of paper, but I'm using a little one, so please bear with me. Anyway, you fold it back and forth. It's a little difficult, but you've got that. You're going to open up these flaps. That's the only thing you open. Don't open it up to the square again. So you've got this. You're going to, this part is where I always get caught up. You take the end, and you, oh, very carefully. You've got to go kind of slow. You, oh, you press it open. You've got to kind of work with the flaps. Um, and I have to do it on the other side so you'll get to see it again. Of course, press down. That took me forever to figure out. So again, you've got, this is the flap that you bent down. You've got the open end. You take this corner and you press up. And you might have to experiment with it. It takes a while. That's why you've got all those folds, though, so that it'll easily-ish open up. And you've got a diamond. Yay. So with the end that 
splits open like little legs, you're going to do this thing. Kind of like what you did earlier. Um, you're going to make little uh, legs if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it. Um, same thing as what he did on the other side. You're going to do it. These two make good, good creases. And with this side, of course, everything is symmetrical. Yay for symmetry. And, oh gosh. There's that. So you have this. And then what you're going to do is um, you're going to fold it over. See? So I'm basically, it's going to be the same shape, sort of. There's now a crease here. There's no crease at the bottom. Um, and then you flatten this. One, one of the guides I was reading likened this to a, um, a fox face. So I guess that's your fox face with its ears. Flatten the ends. And here's the one of the final steps. Push that up. This is the longer end, the uh, chin of the fox, as the guide called it. This part, you're going to fold it up on both sides. Okay, so you've got this. All right, final steps. Um, you're going to reach in here for these folds right there. You're going to grab these. These are what the wings are. And you're going to pull. There's the body. There's the wings, and then pick a side, whichever side you want. Crease it down for the face, and voila! You have a paper crane. I really hope that made sense. Um, this is my little guy. Um, I've never done a tutorial like that before. Um, I had to angle the camera funny. I had it balanced on top of like five books in a box. So I hope that it came out well, and I hope that now you can make your own little fleet of paper cranes. I myself am going to try to do the thousand where, you know, you get a wish from a crane or whatever. Um, it's a cute story. Um, look it up if you don't know the story of the origami crane, and it's really sad. And yeah, go ahead and try making one. They're lots of fun. It's very therapeutic, um, and I think I've got a new hobby, origami. My name is Caps, and I approve this message.